Hong Kong, Asia's world city, also known as the Pearl of the Orient. A vibrant urban center, major port and global financial hub. Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated places in the world, with more than 6,000 people per square kilometer. But beyond the glitzy skyline and jam-packed shopping district, Hong Kong is plagued by poverty and an increasing wealth gap. One in five people in Hong Kong are living below the poverty line with no signs of improvement in the face of a rapidly aging population. Hong Kong's lack of affordable housing is considered amongst the most severe in the world. It is estimated that hundreds of thousands of people are now forced to live in partitioned apartments known as coffin homes. Coffin homes are small apartments that have been subdivided and converted into even more minuscule partitions. Sometimes there are more than 20 people living within. Mr. Simon Wong, a resident in one of these coffin homes, allowed us to visit his humble abode. A narrow, meter-wide hallway cuts through the complex. All of the 20 to 30 inhabitants are forced to share a set of toilets and a single sink. There is no kitchen for cooking. This particular property, however, while crammed and claustrophobic, seems clean and orderly. It's oddly quiet. <laughs> The tenant must crawl through a small, meter-wide hole to enter. Mr. Wong's own personal unit measures just one meter by two meters, which, incidentally, is about the size of a coffin. The unit barely has enough room for a small mattress, from which he can either watch TV or sleep. There is an option for reprieve from the crammed space of one's personal unit, and that is taking 12 flights of stairs to the roof. But Mr. Wong spends most of his time inside his coffin home, watching television. Mr. Wong was kind enough to let us film from his point of view within his unit, so that you can see for yourself exactly what it will look like to live inside the claustrophobic confines of a Hong Kong Coffin home. Mr. Wong says his television is on 24 hours a day, even when he's asleep. He watches it continuously and says he can't live without it. He's afraid of his coffin home being too quiet. He's afraid of the dark.